So I was asked a, a question on like how to find a, a church or place that is good. Um, I'm going to speak in general. Um, so my, you know, I, I also belong to 12. I think if anyone's been to 12 step groups, it stands you in a very good place to begin with because they talk about a loving God, a conception, but it needs to be loving. Um, and so if you come from a place which has relative truth, like a 12-step group or a Course in Miracles, whatever it is that you're going towards, it, has, it needs to be loving and forgiving. Uh, the thing of uh, punishing and judgmentalism and control are taking you down another pathway. Because when something is very punishing and controlling, um, and fearful, then you get the projection of being afraid uh, uh, of something controlling or punishing you. Generally speaking, uh, we know from muscle testing. Muscle testing is a, is a thing. Some people may not have heard of it, but you know, generally speaking, when you're in a place which is fearful or negative and you check the body strength of someone, they'll collapse, their energy collapses in a place which has got a lot of fear, judgment and control. And if you put someone in an environment where there's a lot of love and forgiveness, uh, and radiating out a lot of love and forgiveness, you find that their body stays strong. Okay, so we know from Dr. Hawkins' research, every line and every person and every bit of music and every environment has, is associated uh, either clo more closely to love and God and forgiveness or further away to fear, judgment and control the other way. Now when you start to get things which have environments and people leading environments where there's a lot of control, anger, judgment and fear that's fostered, um, it tends to then create d uh, separation, duality, fear, it tends to inflate the ego. You know, fear and resentment tend to inflate the ego and create a greater sense of separation and also will lead to things like, I'm from an addict, I'm from an addiction background, 12-step background, you know. If I go to a place where I'm starting to get very fearful uh, and resentful and I'm being told a lot of fearful and, and things which make me feel and are fostering a lot of judgment and fear in me or creating a lot of anger in me and I leave that environment, because either the person leading that place or the group energy or even the teachings that I've been given are leading to the greater fear, resentment uh, and, uh, or fear of anything punishing me or, or I need to punish myself uh, or be in fear, then it will lead to my ego inflation unless it's got very good mechanisms of clearing that. So anything where I go into an environment or a spiritual group or a religious place where it seems like the leaders, uh, leaders might be the wrong word, the priests or whatever it is, are, seem to have a loving, wholesome, and it's hard to say this because it's not intellectual. Um, it's the feeling, you know, certain people, it's not even so much the words they say. Sometimes, okay, yes, it is the words they say. The words are important, but some people, you know, emanate love and you feel a sense of ease and comfort and you feel relaxed because uh, there's, oh, this spiritual minister's teaching, and I'm starting to feel relaxed, I'm unwinding. All my fears and my resentments and angers are dropping away. He has such a soothing presence. He seems to be emanating love, and I feel safe. That kind of thing, and also the people, seems to be the readings we're doing and the environment and the culture seems to be loving, harmonious, and I'm starting to relax. My body will start to relax. I'll feel... I'll start to be dropping away resentment and fear. I'll start to feel comfortable in myself. I'll start to feel... And if this minister and the group is fostering this feeling of love and relaxation and comfort, is radiating that, you know, if I was an addict, you know, I'd probably not be an addict for the rest of the day. I'll feel spiritually nurtured and nourished after this, this place. Now, um, if I go to another place and uh, check out another spiritual venue and... Even if he's saying the right words, but I'm feeling like fearful and intimidated and some things like, and then people seem a little bit uptight and they have to sort of like, you know, my God, if, if I blow my nose, I'll be struck with lightning, you know, so if I not blow my nose, you know, and uh, everyone's, you know, and every, there seems to be a tense atmosphere and a controlled atmosphere and 
maybe even the readings I'm doing are saying like if you blow your nose it's really really bad to blow your nose you know okay so I mustn't blow my nose because it could be really bad for my soul if I blow my nose so you know uh, then you know if, even if some of the words said were nice some of them were inspiring and good but energetically you know um, I mean Hawkins said you know when you do a thing, meet a person or go to a place over and over again, over the long term, if you feel more sp spiritually nourished and things are going better and better for you over time, it's it, the energy, the words, the people, the leaders are life-sustaining. You know, addictions will start to drop off, you feel less resentful, less fearful, the things you're learning and the spiritual nourishment will increase over time the more you go to that place. In 12-step groups, people stop addictions. So whatever is happening in there has to be loving and supportive, that resentments and fears and mm. things being done. Now, if you go to any group and uh, you're feeling more fearful, more resentful, your addictions are increasing, you're starting to feel more negative and paranoid week after week after going to that place. For me, intrinsically, intuitively, your body will even tell you it's not good. You know, you might be going because there's free donuts, <laughs> you know, and your ego goes, well, I felt bad, but there's free donuts every week, so I'll go for the free donuts, but don't go for the free donuts, you know, because spiritually it's not right. Your ego's, your ego's pulling you, or I'm going because that hot girl's there every week. I feel shit afterwards and I eat 100 donuts, but at least she's there, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go to that group, but it's not good because your ego might tell you to go back for a reason, which is not spiritual, you know, free donuts, whatever it is. So then it's like, you know, so your ego can sometimes make you go to a place which is destructive. Um, so that's another, that's another thing, unfortunately, we can get spiritually complex because people can go to places which are not good for them over and over again and their ego will rationalize something which is not good for your spirit. So, but generally for me, love, release of resentment and fear, feeling safe, f feeling the presence of some form of energetic love and safety, which is beyond your rush. Because if you just go to your head, well, I think it's good, but I'm not sure. But I, I should probably go for the next year anyway, because I'm not sure. You know, sometimes the head can get... Also understand that... Um, you know, there is a thing between what's being said and the energy in a group, which is difficult to try and, I'm trying to explain it, you know, because if you know muscle testing and energy and vibrations and you're sensitive to that, you'll pick up a loving, nurturing environment, even if some of the first few words said sound good. <clears throat> this place is about love and forgiveness. But, you know, energetically you might feel absolutely awful at the end of the thing and you feel like I need to watch three hours of Netflix non-stop and buy a packet of donuts, you know. So even though the word sounded right, you know, energetically, something's still not right in that environment. You know, you're not feeling nurtured. So I'm, I'm trying to say that the difference between, so certain spiritual groups, I'm not just talking about churches, any groups, you know, I mean, we're talking about cults, I guess. So have some good words, but also have some stuff which is not so useful. And the motive and the intention of the group is not right. Something's wrong in the group. Control, fear, punishing, punishing God, or punishment of the members, or members feeling bad. Even though there's lots of lovely words. And people feel, you know, I went to... Um, I showed my funny stories. I, they weren't funny at the time. I went to a church in my early spiritual thing, and I was looking for... You know, I had to find, because I had this near-death spiritual experience and find a spiritual solution. So I was going, looking for God everywhere. And I went up Wood Green, this true story, uh, went up Wood Green uh, escalators. And there was a man saying, you know, about Jesus. And it's a true story. And I thought, okay, well, this is God. You know, this guy must be sent to me by God. He's the top of Wood Green escalators. So he said, this is the church, come along. I was going to the church. And then the priest said, this is the only church you can get salvation in. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, something just felt absolutely like, uh, I must have misinterpreted what he said. Mm -hmm. This is the only church you can find salvation in. So, 
And I said, uh, can I speak to him? Can I speak to him? And he goes, yeah, yeah, we will organise. You can speak to him. And I said, you know you said this is the only church. You didn't mean literally just this church in the whole world was the only church. You could. And he said, yes. And then it was like, I can't go back to that place. You know, it's just, it's just like, so the church down the road, I couldn't get salvation. And the other one, I guess if I went to another country, I couldn't find salvation in a different church. So I just couldn't sit with that. So it fell out. Even though I'm sure they said a lot of things. Another, I went to this meditation thing. With the, you'd look at a candle and look at this Indian woman. And uh, looking at this <laughs> candle, and you'd say, just stare, sit there and look at this woman and look at the candle. I go, fine, okay. Look. And then I said, like, I'm leaving this group. I said to the guy, I'm leaving this group. It's not for me. <laughs> and he said, if you leave the group, you'll go to hell. <laughs> 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 So I didn't go. I didn't go back to those two groups, but they didn't really. I'm sure they were. I'm sure um, something wasn't sitting right with me. I'm not saying. I mean, I'm sure there's love, lots of lovely groups. Um, I mean, I go by energy in my body, uh, and I because I know resentments and fear and punishment are not good for me. I need to feel. I need to feel my body at the end of a group is more relaxed and that I've let go of stuff. And that's also important for me because I'm uh, recovering, uh, you know, recovering from a donut addiction and sugar addiction. So anything that makes me more free and peaceful and serene. And I know energetically I'm aware of muscle testing. I can more sense environments energetically which are good for me. You know, they're, they're like my body's getting stronger. There's love. There's nurture. Um, I know, you know, the two polarities are, are fear and love. Unless someone believes that, you know, is willing to take on that God is, uh, God is the truth, the nature of God is fear and punishment. And I want to buy that. But for me, I, I mean, I don't subscribe to, to the ultimate truth of the universe being uh, punishment and fear. Um, so I can't, you know, I wouldn't be able to subscribe to such a thing if that was. But I don't think any place, spiritual place, in would. You, what you get are cults. Cults are difficult because they tell you some truth. And then they also, but through the back door, there's fear and control and judgment. So it's, it's more difficult because no spiritual group, all spiritual groups are spiritually sophisticated, the good ones and the bad ones. So when you meet, uh, when you go to a negative place, they'll probably start off with God is love and forgive your neighbor. And, uh, but then it's like, you know, if you leave this place and go to another building ever again, you know, we're, we're going to like... We're going to find <laughs> find you and give you some donuts or something. So, um, so you, you then sense something's not right. A more spiritually um, spiritually advanced spiritual seeker will be able to spot it straight away. If you go to twelve step groups, you're already quite sophisticated. If you've been to twelve step groups, usually uh, for a period of time, and you go to a spiritual place, somehow you'll sense if something's not quite right. So you're quite sophisticated if you've been to 12 step group. You go to a group, you know, something will feel a bit out of place, any spiritual group or church you go to. Um, the, um, as you probably all know, I mean, the um, spiritual, the 12 step groups originated out of the Oxford groups, mm. which were, uh, uh, I'm not an expert, but it was a Christian priest. And, uh, and then they were modified, you know, a God of your understanding. So that is, you know, that is taking the spiritual aspect out of Christianity to get that spiritual experience of true forgiveness and a God of love. So if I go to any, any place, and I know that has stopped me from addiction, so I know the elements of truth. If I go to a place long enough and I feel those elements of truth that intuitively are not there, then um, I will have to leave. But every good environment will support you. You'll feel more peaceful. You'll feel your resentments are going, your addictions will start to calm down, you'll feel a sense of release. Uh, there'll be more, uh, more love and harmony. Also, the people will look a bit more loving and harmonious in that group. If everyone's looking uptight, like they want to murder you or anything, and, uh, and uh, the leader looks like, you know, the, you know um, it doesn't look like he's happy. Um, I just be cautious, really. Just be mm. cautious, you know. Um, those are generalizations, but really, what affected me a lot was um, when. But see, this is the problem: when you're uh, when you're new, 
you're spiritually unsophisticated, that's the problem. Uh, so you have no clue as to know what is truth from falsehood. If you've been to a 12-step group or you've got relatively good spiritual understanding, you're quite sophisticated. So you are able to suss out, generally after a period of time, something's not right and leave. So I think most people definitely been to us to cancer step. But, you know, I've tried a few churches, a few places, several of them. Um, maybe go two or three, unless you get something on the first go that is so bad that you feel this is no, I cannot go back to this. But if you're not sure, go back. Over time, something that is good for you, over the course of a month or two, something that's really, really something which has a very high vibration and is emitting so much immense love mm. and power in that environment, that after a month or two, you'll, you should definitely know. But you know, if you're an addict and your addictions are getting worse after a month or two and you're feeling more crazy and more suicidal, uh, personally, I wouldn't go carry on going because by, by its fruits you shall know it. Mm. I, I don't know if that's helpful. Yeah.